The Supreme Court has agreed to take up Mississippi's bid to revive a ban on abortions after 15 weeks of pregnancy, potentially setting up a direct challenge to Roe v. Wade. Here to talk about this now is Katie Cherkaski, a criminal defense attorney and former federal prosecutor. Katie, thanks for joining us. Sure. So how big a deal is this? Is this a potentially um, existential threat to Roe v. Wade? Well, it's very interesting. You know, this case is a very big deal because it is a very direct challenge to what Roe versus Wade says, which is that all pre-viability abortions cannot be banned. And a pre-viability abortion has been defined as essentially an abortion prior to 23 to 24 weeks. So the Mississippi law says that there is a ban on all abortions after 15 weeks. So that's really a direct challenge to the current Supreme Court precedent. So very big deal here. Is it a surprise? Some people are expressing surprise, I think, especially sort of uh, you know, pro-choice activists are surprised that the court would even take it up. Are you surprised that they would take it up? Well, I am surprised because they've rejected similar cases in the past, but obviously the makeup of the court has now shifted. This case has been running through the wickets for a couple of years now. The two lower courts had to agree that the law was unconstitutional because under the current case law, it really is. It's directly unconstitutional. There's never been a law that's been upheld that bans abortion before that point of viability. So this case, even though it's just regarding one state law, really will have far-reaching implications, potentially. And if it's, so to be clear, as you say, court now has a 6-3 conservative majority, those three justices appointed by President Trump. Now, of course, we don't know what, 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 how they'll rule. We, we, we never know how they'll rule in advance. But, but, if, but, but just to be clear on, on the law, so again, if they were to uphold this law, this Mississippi law, it would be, it would rewrite, the, the, it would rewrite Roe v. Wade, essentially. It would actually over, it would supersede Roe v. Wade. We would now have, uh, you know, a law, a law had been upheld which was directly at odds with Roe v. Wade. Sure, it would allow for state legislatures to enact restrictions or even bans on abortion prior to that viability point, which is traditionally thought of as 23 to 24 weeks. So even if the court doesn't agree that this particular law can be upheld, they could loosen the restrictions to some extent and say, you know, maybe 20 weeks, maybe, you know, something a little more restrictive than what is currently uh, allowed by Roe versus Wade. So it's very interesting, certainly. And it is surprising because they've rejected similar petitions in the past on, on these cases. This is a direct challenge. And we don't know how the justices will vote, of course, but the, the majority is um, favoring the conservative side. So that's oh, very just, interesting. Just very briefly, Katie, because we've got to go. And we will get yeah. a decision, I think, next year, I think, is the expectation, because obviously these cases take a long time. Just very, very briefly, though, right. as you say, the conservative, they are, it does have a court, does have a conservative majority, but, but that doesn't necessarily mean, as some people might think, that they're going to uphold this right. law and overturn Roe v. Wade. We've seen Justice Roberts, we've seen um, Justice Gorsuch take decisions that certainly went against what, what a lot of social conservatives on these issues would have, would have liked. Sure. And I think conservatively, you know, you look at, at stare decisis and the precedent that's there and how much respect you have for that as well. So I think you have to justify, even if you, you want to deviate that far from the precedent, you're really going to have to justify it. So even on the conservative side, quote unquote, I don't think that we can predict how this will come down, but it will have far reaching implications one way or another. So certainly a very interesting case. Katie Chukaski, thank you for making all that very clear. We look forward to talking to you again. Thank you.